Hello, fellow humans. This is M Squad One. Welcome to the first annual M Squad One Christmas Eve Can't Sleep Special. We got a lot of things planned for you tonight, so please stay tuned for them. And I hope that you have a merry Christmas. All right, guys. Before I actually start this video, I would like you guys to remember that there are some who are less fortunate than us, and if you guys are like that, I feel your pain. My family used to be very poor, literally on a couple days before Thanksgiving, uh, around my first year, I think, we had no money, and it was really by the grace of God that we had money to get gifts and to live. We had no money even for food. So as you guys are celebrating, remember those who don't have the privileges that you do to celebrate and have a fun time, and if you find a way to help them, do it. It is honestly really fun. I've helped at soup kitchens before, and it is one of the most fun things I've ever done. So just keep in that, that in mind as you're listening to this, and I hope you do enjoy this video. And yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, we just had a quick PSA. That's all that was. Uh, just like I said, remember those who are less fortunate than you during this season. But it is time now for us to have a a fun old time. So first off, we're going to start with a quick tutorial kind of thing on how to make a pretty interesting Santa's sleigh. So if that interests you, then go ahead and keep watching. If not, then you can skip to the next sections. But I would really recommend you just watch the whole thing. So without further ado, here's me teaching you how to make a Santa's sleigh. All right, so for segment one, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you something pretty cool. So if you guys are ever building a, you know, like a Christmas scene or something, I'm going to show you how to build a nice and simple Santa's sleigh that you can use for that. Now for this, you will need, uh, not bricks, bricks would be weird. There we go. Court slabs, stone slabs, uh, where's red clay, red clay. Now you can use some glowstone. Where's glowstone at? Glowstone! Glowstone, glowstone. There's glowstone. So you can use some glowstone as well. You're also going to need some spruce wood fences so that you can, you know, tie the horses up. Speaking of horses, you're going to need some horses. Uh, you know, you can't really make, you know, reindeer in Minecraft. So we're just going to use horses. If you want, you can go ahead and name them. But this should be all that you need for the main sleigh. You're also going to need some type of slab, or not slab. No, you don't need slabs. Okay, for these stone, you can also use stone brick, which is actually what I'm going to do. That might be a little easier, because then you can use stairs for them. Ooh, stairs, fancy. Let's move everything on here down a block. Now, we're going to start placing. So, for these, you're just going to do like that. Slab, stair, slab, stair. Slab, slab. Then you're going to come over here, break this slab, put a solid block, and put a stair. Ta-da! Now you're going to repeat that over here. So, let's just start with a block this time. With three blocks between them. You're going to put a stair, then a slab, then a stair, slab, stair, slab, slab. See, that's very easy. Now these are the, the skis for the slide. So, or skis, is that the proper term? I think so. So there's a couple ways you could do this. But I'm going to show you my favorite way of doing this. So I like putting, well, actually I need that back. I like putting st I mean, stairs like this. Of course, these don't have to be stone. Let's do these in cords. Yeah. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and put some court stairs right here. We're actually going to start making the sleigh now with the courts and the red stuff. Of course, this is just a block to sit there. Now we're going to come over here and put down the actual floor of the sled. So we're going to use this out of quartz. For Instead of quartz, you could do a type of wood, uh, any type of wood you want. But I find it best, well, actually for the, this floor, we'll use uh, oak. You can use really any blocks you want for this. I think that the, you know, the, what's this called? Quartz looks really good in this, and so I'm I'm kind of a fan of it. But of course, this is up to you. You can do whatever you want with this. This is your Santa's sleigh. So yeah. <laughs> now here's the deck. 
Now, next, we're going to go ahead and put the... Not yet. We're going to need to put a... We need... I'm trying to remember how I did this. Break these. Put these here. Break these again. Put these back. And put these on. Yeah! Don't worry, there will be red. It is a red sleigh, after all. So... We're going to do that, make like an L shape, then we'll just do this, so there. Now this is, like I said, a simple Santa sleigh, but you can make it as complicated as you want. You can move this up a level if you wanted, make these solid blocks if you don't want to, you know, break them up and have slabs. But what I like doing is just slabbing it so that you kind of have a way of getting up, then you put this right here. Here's the storage compartment for all the presents. You can put these here if you want. It's just kind of make it your own. Do whatever you want with it and have fun doing it. But of course that's just a sled and it doesn't look the best. So there's some ways that we can fix that. We can replace these with uh, quartz. I wish that there was like red stairs. That'd be so good. You can do really whatever you want with that. I like putting some quartz on top of here. So there we go. We're going to call that our sled. And I think it looks pretty alright. <laughs> pretty alright. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is put the reindeer. Since it'll be flying when it takes off, the reindeer won't be touching the ground anyway. So we'll just put it up here. So then we need to put one, two, three four, then one more. So this is how we do this. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put ten fence posts going out and make it so that there's four ones branching off. Then just start spawning horses and attaching them to the fence posts. Horse, fence post. Horse, fence post. Horse, what's next? Fence post! And then, of course, we got Rudolph. Sorry that these are not actually, uh, you know, okay. You're gonna be tied to that one. Sorry, Rudolph. Sorry that I don't actually have reindeer, but Minecraft doesn't have reindeer. So I have to use horses. Sorry. Not my fault. So, once you're done with your horses, you can spruce it up a bit. Ah, get it? Because I use spruce. By adding a Santa right here, uh, you know, you could use item, right? you could use armor stands for that if you want. Then back here, let's clear all this. We should put some presents. So we'll get one of this, that, one of these, and a piece of TNT. I think that'll do. So let's do furnace, TNT, crafting bench. There you go. So he has some presents back here. Then he can drive from up here. And that is how you build a Santa sleigh. Thank you guys for watching this segment. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, hopefully you'll learn something from that. And maybe you'll end up using it. If you do end up using it, put it in the comments below and let me know. So, next up, I'm going to be reading to you the Christmas story from the Bible. Uh, from Luke chapter 2. So... Without, I mean, during that, there will be a, a slideshow of kind of what's going on in it is my interpretation of it in Minecraft. And it's pretty funny, so I'd recommend you check that out. So without further ado, here you go. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was the governor of Syria. And all the world went to be registered each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judah, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who is with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to, for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for him in the inn. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. 
And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into the heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby laying in the manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. And at the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. My friends, that was the Christmas story read from uh, the book of Luke in the Bible, Luke chapter 2, 1 through 21, uh, English Standard Version. Thank you, and let's get on with this show. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. That actually took a lot for me to read. I was sitting there reading it like every single verse, reading it like five times, and I picked which one, the versions I liked best. I'm not actually that good at reading on camera, so hopefully you enjoyed that and learned something. That is the reason why we celebrate this holiday after it all. So, next up, it's actually just a, a time with my friends. This is kind of a different thing. I'm hanging... This failed. Okay, three, two, one. All right, so next up we have a time where me, my friend Sam, and my other friend Gil, both of their channels are in the description below. We're just hanging out, having some fun, talking about what we're going to get for Christmas, all that stuff. So check it out. Uh, here you go. Hello, fellow humans. This is M Squad One. Today, we're going to do a quick segment on this Christmas Eve can't sleep special, and I'm joined by two people that don't, I don't know. I caught them off the street, so they're going to introduce themselves. Uh, we'll start with Sam. Hi, everybody. I'm Sam. Um, I know Micah. For Sam. Sam. I've known Micah for how long has it been? A year, oh, year and a half. A year. So, um, <coughs> I'm, I do some. I'm in Order of the Arrow with him? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'll mention and, that. And we're both, you know, We go to a homeschool group together. Yeah. Um, 17, uh, from Illinois, Middle East. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's your turn. Illinois in the Middle East. It's called Illinoisstan, okay? <laughs> okay. Illinois You're up, man. All right, this is me, uh, Gil, Gil again, or Bad X Slash, featured me in one of your episodes. Uh, I forgot to tell him I did. Just kidding. I, uh, I uploaded yeah, that. That was, was a while ago. Yeah, you did. My YouTube because... channel. Do you have a YouTube channel? I. It's very, very small. I have one subscriber. It's terrible. <laughs> I have 57. <laughs> yeah, thanks for bragging again. <laughs> Isn't it 59 last time? No, Let's I lost check. two people. Let's check. But go ahead. Keep talking. Okay, well, I have a, do have a YouTube channel. Very, very small. Um, it's Sam... Uh, Killstreak Sergeant, because uh, I use Killstreak as most of my usernames in most games I play. So if you find me any kind of online game for iOS or Android devices and the username is Killstreak. He has a Mac. Or Killswitch, it is, um, that is me. Pop, most likely that is, because I know I've had to have, I have had to change it. The S will be a 5, um, but, um, that'll be me for the most part. Well, um, Gil just left because he has to take a phone call. The so bomb. this is the segment when we talk about him behind his back. The bomb. Oh, oh it's <laughs> Sam's mom. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is the segment where we talk about Sam behind <laughs> his back. Just it's kidding. True. So Gil, go can, go ahead and talk a tad bit about yourself a little more. Uh, <laughs> as you guys probably have noticed, if you searched, I haven't put any videos up for. When I said I would, uh, problems uh, with school, pl uh, st planning. He got grounded. 
No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it, actually. Uh, I didn't have anything planned. I didn't have uh, anything uh, set up. I still hadn't contacted uh, Chris about anything. Um, but everything is basically set up. I'm trying to get in contact with Chris again so we can uh, at least record our few first episodes and then put together our channel trailer. Hopefully that'll be up and running soon probably next year maybe february hopefully yeah around february that sounds good uh -huh. so uh guys while we're waiting for sam to return i'm gonna go ahead and talk about what we're gonna be doing in this short segment uh we're gonna be talking about some of the things we want for christmas some things we had to buy for people of course since none of our family likes us mm -hmm. they're not gonna be watching this video so when they come when's sam getting back sam sam oh he 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 he. We seem to have interrupted a phone call. Oh, a little bit. Well, well, he'll be back soon. So, um, he's looking. He's staring angrily at us. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Well, he'll be back in the not too long. Not um, too long future. Hopefully, if he's not, then he's dead. Not but, too long. Oh, it's a not too near future. Yeah. Gil, go ahead and start talking. Um, I'm wearing my Christmas hat. Yeah, Christmas. Go ahead and start talking. What are you gonna get be getting for Christmas? Um. I do not know exactly what I'm going to be getting, but I do hope you're getting. I hope I'm getting. Oh, okay. Um, I've put on like a Christmas list. I've jotted down and stuck on the refrigerator. And go, I want that. <laughs> I've got up there. Uh... Snap! You know. <laughs> So, Sam is back. What did I do? What did um, you guys do without me? What did uh, you say about me? So um, he, he wrote, "I lost the game." And that I is why it. Sam does not actually have kneecaps anymore. He just <laughs> has spaghetti floating around in there. What? <laughs> With the meatball for a brain. What? <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard. Sam is a meatball head. That is that is lovely. I just okay. I love that story. So continue <laughs> talking about your Christmas stuffs. Alright, uh, so um I put on there pos uh, Fallout four. I wanted to get on that grind. I wanted it as a Christmas present then rather than spending like seventy bucks for the game. Um I also put on there so I wanted those uh, old fashioned shoes that the Heelys with the the wheels in them because they were so fun. Uh, see, that was about it. So, um, Sam, what about you? What have you got on your Christmas list that you kind of want? I have mostly airsoft stuff because I'm trying to get into that business, the airsoft and paintball stuff. He wants to get shot. Yeah, you know, in the knee. Yeah, you don't have knees. You have All spaghetti. Right. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I want to get shot See? in my spaghetti. 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 spaghetti, look, it's right there. Mmm, yeah. tasty. Okay, yeah. so, what do you got? What, besides airsoft stuff, what are you hoping to get? Um, well, I'm always in the hopes for tools. I'm a kind of a handyman kind of a thing. Um, mm -hmm. that's, that's all I really have on my list because, uh, my list was mostly cleaned out for some strange reason last Christmas. I don't know what happened to everything on there. I had a big list and everything. I, had, you know, I use Amazon. Thank mm -hmm. you, Amazon. Um. Sponsor us. <laughs> Sponsor, Sponsor Micah. Us. Sponsor Micah. Uh, I don't, I've, I really like Assassin's Creed. Uh, that's one of my big oh, all-time... Actually, I got a black flag for Christmas last year, mm -hmm. and that one's pretty awesome. I want to get one of the suits that you can buy on Amazon, the, uh, the actual uh, cloaks. Uh, let's see. Oh, also last Christmas I got an iPod. I got this iPod 5C. It's not bad. 5C. iPod Touch, that is. People get confused with the iPod, iPod Touch. Um, the iPod Nano. What's the difference between the iPod, iPod and Shuffle. iPod Touch? Well, iPod... Is something is just something you download the music onto it and you can't do anything. But iPod Touch, you can physically touch the screen and you can. You can touch any screen. You can interact. Yeah. You can interact with the device. Mm -hmm. Oh, interactive interface. Ooh, yes. fancy. See, so I have um, my own passcode. I have apps. <laughs> awesome, awesome apps on here. Um, like one fa one of my favorite apps on here is CTOS Mobile, <laughs> and it uh, you can interact with people on. Oh shoot, what's the game? Um. It's one of the new PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 games, and the sound's on and everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sound's on and everything. Uh, Watch Dogs. It wonderful. interacts with people who play really? Watch Dogs. And I can, I don't know how it works for them, but what I do, I can go in using my Ubisoft, uh, my Uplay account, and I can actually interact with people playing Watch Dogs on their system while I'm on my device. And I guess it's like a race. They go into some kind of race mode, and I have to try and stop them from completing the objective. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. It's a fun game to have if you're on a mobile device, Android or iOS. Um, other than that, 
I don't have a lot of Christmas plans besides the fact I'm going to Chicago for Christmas. So Chicago. Yeah, we leave. Why would you want? To have a... Cool. Well, my, my grandparents are tomorrow. My grandparents live there, and that's where the rest of my dad's family lives. So we go there. We went there last Christmas, and we're going again this Christmas. We leave tomorrow, actually, and um, it's it's a lot of fun. I love Chicago. I love roaming around the city and just being crazy. Chicago's a great city to be crazy in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I myself have no plans whatsoever for Christmas. I have no idea what I'm getting to do. But I do know that between now and Christmas Eve, I need to record, edit a huge Christmas special that I'm planning. Guys, usually I put about six hours into each... Uh, sorry. Each video. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, that'll be edited out too. No, it won't. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I have no idea what I'm getting for Christmas. Uh, at all, which is like the first year ever, because I always found the hiding spots. Like oh, one year, I wish I get knew. this: the worst hiding spot ever was the back of the car, <laughs> just sitting there. Epic fail. One time though, it wasn't the back of the car. This was oh seven when I got my Leaders Class Optimus Prime, really cool toy. Um, toy. We, yeah, it was a toy. Now it's a collector's item, but it's a toy back then because I was eight. Uh, Something like that. Mm, yeah, so. Um, mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I it was in the back of my dad's car when he got rear-ended. Yeah, or no, not rear-ended. I think his car just broke down and stopped working and stuff like that. But I have no idea what I'm doing for Christmas. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Oh, wait, um, no. Sam has to go. Oh, I'll be back. So. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> uh, continue watching this special. It's going to get even better. And have a nice day. See ya in a second. All right, guys, that'll end. I mean, that'll do it for this episode. It's getting late, and I have to go to bed. And hopefully, I'll be able to sleep uh, just a little bit, maybe. I hope that you guys have a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. I will be posting a behind-the-scenes video for this if you guys would like. Uh, but before I end, I would like to give a couple quick shout-outs. Uh, first one is to Gil and to Sam. They both helped me out a ton with that third clip. Also, I would like to give a shout out to my family for putting up with me being upstairs video editing for the past couple days. And last but not least, I would like to thank my friend Jack. He helped me out with some of the stuff. He's also going to be helping me with, you know, some some more of the the video editing stuff later on in the future. So, a big shout out to him. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have any questions about anything you saw on this, let me know and I'll help you out. Anyway, I hope you had a nice day. See ya!